All right, what's going on, folks? Uh, trying to get this volume down. We're going to do some editing on this video. All right, what's going on, y'all? Uh, doing a little quick little check-in um, about the V Max. Smoke V Max. All right, this thing right here is this is amazing. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. I mean, I, I had the uh, Rev Three. Yeah, it's all right. It's okay. But this uh, V Max is really, really, really the truth. I mean, I mean in a good way of um, how does how the uh, V Max is versus the uh, Rev Three. See the difference in size. It's a little bit bigger. It's just a little bit bigger. Then the uh, Rev 3, this thing right here. And that's on um, on 4 volts. Now, I got this uh, the other day in the mail. Sorry if I'm see me moving all over the place. I got it in the mail. Came in this nice little box right here. V Max. Got the chrome. I mean, you got to work with me today. I'm trying to film this without even looking at the screen, so I can't tell how the video is. Came in this little box right here. Didn't really have nothing in it, just a little sleeve. And I got this one from uh, Crystal Clear Vapor. Crystal Clear Vaping. Even came with an instruction manual. I know some of the other vendors out there that are selling these uh, without instructions. I looked up and ordered from uh, Crystal Clear Vaping. Sold on uh, ECF Forum. Great site. Caught a good sale on it. And um, you know it's the version two. There's a few people out there that are saying that the uh, V Max, the first version that came out, had a couple little uh, issues with it, as far as um, the voltage goes, and taking the batteries out, and putting them back in. So what I'm gonna demonstrate is taking the batteries out. I had it on 4.5 earlier. I'm actually gonna switch these out and put fresh set of batteries in that have been charging all day even though the ones that I'm about to put in the charger haven't even had a chance to go dead yet that's how amazing this thing is it's been going about uh, almost 30 hours using it and I uh, still haven't even killed the batteries yet so I'm going to show you like this just like this boom goes in this one goes in this one has still got a little bit as you see, and as you see, I'm, I'm doing it so you can see it light up as I'm uh, screwing the bottom on. Let me just make sure I got, got it the right way up. So as you see, it started out on 3 volts. So this one started out on 3 volts, and I got the Vivi Nova tank on top of it. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to change the batteries on my Rev 3. They're similar batteries. But I'm gonna change them out just because I wanted I want to show you something as far as comparison goes. I'm sorry once again for reaching all over the place during this uh, little review. I might do some editing to this just because I'm gonna try to make this a good video for you guys. But I'm gonna put a fresh set of batteries in my uh, Rev 3. So I got both of them sitting here right next to each other just so you can see there's no funny games going because I'm going to use the VMAX on 4 volts and I'm going to use the Rev3 on 4 volts. I'm going to use the same exact type of juice in it so I'm actually going to uh, I'm going to dump this one actually I'm not going to dump this one out. I'm going to use the same one that's in here and you see the juice is a little 
It's getting a little brown. It's because it's heating up kind of kind of warm because this thing cranks out some uh, some voltage, some power. But I'm using this uh, bomb vapor juice. I think I might change this just because this is actually some real good juice. I really don't want to use all of it right now. So I'm actually trying to stretch this out just a little bit. So give me one second. Like I said, this video might get edited <laughs> just because of this. So I'm going to dump the uh, Vivi tank out so you can see. Like I said, I'm going to keep this all, all fair and square. So I'm going to use the same type of juice. I'm going to give it um, actually, let's see which one I'm going to use. Got too much juice to choose from, but I'm uh, I'm gonna use this uh, sweet tarts. This is uh, I believe this is a 70/30 mix that I got from DFW Vapors. I actually like this juice a lot. That's why I said I'm gonna use this because this is pretty much what I wanted to put in here next anyway. I should do a 80/20 just so. You can. Matter of fact, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Forget this one. This is a good juice. But I'm gonna do something else. I'm gonna do an 80/20 mix. Now, as you guys know about vaping, uh, using electronic cigarettes, the uh, higher the VG content, the more vapors produced. Okay, so I'm going to use this 80/20 mix from HappyEsmokers.com. Uh, once again, it's HappyEsmokers.com. Blueberry, creamy, dreamy, well, dreamy, creamy. Set it backwards. But it's actually a very, very good juice. So. I never actually tried this one. I tried uh, the orange creamy dreamy and the uh, banana dreamy creamy. Probably sent them all backwards. Who cares? Not saying who cares. It was actually very good juice. Very very strong flavor. But I'll show you something that I noticed, and I noticed this is the review for the V Max. But I'm gonna make this more of a comparison slash review, and I'm actually gonna take this off. And I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put the same Vivi Nova tank. And if you don't have a Vivi Nova tank, I definitely recommend uh, going to get one. If you're familiar with uh, clearomizers, these work pretty much exactly the same as a clearomizer, just a l little bit bigger tank. Uh, I think it's a cleaner, more cleaner taste to it. So I'm gonna actually screw this on to my, uh, like I said, to my Rev3. And this is a 2.8 ohm head in here. So, and right now, as you see, it's lighting up red on the Vivi. I mean, not on the Vivi, but on, well, the Vivi is firing up on the Rev3. But you see it's lighting up red. That means it's on four bolts. This one only goes four, five, and six. No, no point, no point one, point two, point three, or nothing like that. Just four, five, and a six. So this is on four bolts right here. Tastes damn good. Tastes real good. But you see there's not a lot of vapor right there. I'll do it again. That's not bad right there. But this is a fresh set of batteries in here. So we want to see how it goes. So that's on 4 volts. Actually impressive. Alright, so I'm going to change it up. Crank it up one more. We'll go to 5 volts. I'm not going to do 6 volts. I don't want to burn anything out, but I'm gonna just do uh, the five the five volts, and you hear it clicking on this one. You get it on the V on the V Max, but it's not that bad. This one, you do get to hear the clicky sound quite a bit. That's on five volts. Real good amount of vapor. Really taste the blueberry. This is actually a, this is a freaking great freaking flavor. <laughs> this is an awesome flavor. And um got this one from Happy E Smokers dot com. Good company. I actually got a promotion on all liquids uh, you get you get um twenty percent off on all e liquid that you purchase from them uh with the code vape. Just go to the site and you can check it out. Had to turn my AC off on window unit, it's a little bit noisy, so one more, one more shot on this. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Actually, let's go up to six just so you can see how it looks on six real quick. Yeah. 
impressive. All right, let's get back to the V Max. All right, so same thing. Look at how the heads are on this one, and check out the heads on this one. This is the Rev 3. That one, I would need an adapter if I needed to put an ego piece in there or something, or smoke tech, uh, or dual tank uh, cartomizer. This one has the ridge around it, so I can put it right on there. Don't need no no adapter or anything. So, so I'm not doing anything different. Just gonna put the same one on this one. Let's go ahead and you know, just so you can see, I got it on three volts. Let me do it again so you can see. So on three point one. So now check this out. This is on three point one. Look at that vapor on 3.1. That's 3.1. Alright, just so you can see, I'm going to go up just a little bit. Alright, so there should be 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm going to put this on 3.7. This is on a 2.8 ohm. Atomize ahead inside the Vivinova 3.7 equivalent to uh, what you guys are vaping on a, on an Ego C, so you can see the difference in uh, the, the vapor production. I just went up six point six volts, point six. Now check this out. Oh, damn it! Okay, got an error message now. Think about this uh about this uh, VMAX. If there's anything wrong with the base on uh atomizer, you will get an error message. And I just got one. Alright, it looks like it's good now. So I'm 3.7. Hmm. And this is messing up my little review. See so what it looks like is the bottom of my Vivi tank. So just slightly off center, just a little bit. And that's I think that's what's uh causing that. Let me just try and tighten it back down. Alright, so that's on 3.7. Alright, I'm gonna go put it up on uh oops. Let's go ahead and put it on uh four volts so we can get back to the true comparison. Four volts. That's a lot of vapor for four volts. That's a ton of vapor for four volts. All right, uh, I'm gonna go up to do four and a half. I think four and a half probably be just as good as uh, five was on the uh, on the Rev three. All right. Great flavor, great flavor. All right, let's go up to. Uh, I'm gonna put this up to uh, five. All right, so we got it on five. All right, so let's go.
And see, my drags are getting just a little bit, uh, a little bit soft on this. It's because it's cranking out quite a bit. You hear it firing. Now at five volts, I'm already getting just a slight uh, burning taste, but it's not too bad. Just heating it up real good. A lot of throw hit. <clears throat> Now, on the menu, on here you got two up. Actually, I think I just, yep, this is going down voltage. But I can hold it down, and you see it'll cycle all the way through. So I'm going to take it back down to, uh, I actually like using uh, the 2.8 on 4 volts. So, I'm going to leave it on 4, but I'm going to show you the menu that's on here. So that's two, that's going up, down, that's the, uh, I can't remember all of these settings because I'm trying to read it upside down, so, <laughs> but that one there is, actually, I'm going to put it on so you can see the uh, voltage. That's number of, alright, so this one here, the way I have it now, when I'm firing it shows me the actual uh, voltage that I'm actually using which is actually pretty cool. That way you know exactly what you're using the whole time. Get a little gargle on uh, on this uh, tank. I think that's probably because I didn't push the top all the way down. The only thing I had to worry about with uh, with this, ah, oh, there it is. That's the problem solved right there. It looks like the top wasn't on all the way. See, in the, uh, in the Vivi tank, there's a little plastic shell that kind of goes on top. I think last time I filled it, I didn't, I didn't put it on all the way. So, and yes, I am wiping e-juice all on myself. So, I'll be walking around smelling good. <laughs> Alright, let's see that. Let's see if that helped the uh, gargle, the gurgle sound out. That's back on four volts, and if you remember when I did it on this one, four volts on this one really didn't do that much. This four volts is hitting like five on here. Four and a half is hitting almost like six. But this is a fantastic device. The uh, V Max, awesome device. So definitely recommend uh, checking it out. This thing will set you back. Uh, probably well I got this one uh, on sale so I got it for about 90 bucks but right now all sites are really selling them starting at 90 bucks with no battery so uh, it's definitely worth it I mean the Pravari is a great device this is a great device half the price actually more than half the price put some money back in your pocket get one of these stock up on juice and roll from there <laughs> it's the best I can say on that um, definitely recommend the, Viv the Vivi tank I'll probably shoot another video uh, maybe tonight or tomorrow uh, with a smoke tech dual coil tank on it I have this one here but as you see this juice looks kinda nasty <laughs> so I don't want to use this in there uh, probably just dump it out and uh, fill out fill up a new cartomizer and I'll uh, shoot a video um, also do have and if I can show you this I do have an atomizer Let's see how that works on here. Let me uh, turn this thing down because this thing will. I mean, like uh, like I said, this this uh, Vmax does get a little hotter. Well, heats up a little bit harder than uh, some other uh, variable voltage devices out there. So. Do want to turn it down just a little bit? I'm gonna drip just a little bit in here. Cool. Come on, come on, come on. Three drops. 
Two drops should be good in there. I'm actually going to take the same drip tip that I just used right here on the atomizer head. And this is a standard resistance, uh, I think it's a Bioway that I got from my Happy E Smokers. Kind of looks eh, <laughs> kind of weird but on this, but uh, still usable. You can still use it. But check this out. That's on three volts, I'm disappearing in the cloud. Definitely recommend getting one of these. Great device. VMAX, if you don't have one, go out and get one. Try and find one. Try and beg somebody for the money to get one, but it's definitely, definitely worth the investment. Um, probably the best, uh, well, compared to the only had two uh, variable voltage devices, period. So it's actually a very good device to have, um, especially if you want to get into the uh, variable voltage world and, you know, not have to break the bank trying to get one. But it's definitely a great device. Definitely recommend getting out, getting one. Um, just check out with you guys later. I'm going to edit this video, get it uploaded for you guys. Got any comments? Go ahead and make them. Let me know what you want to see. All right, have a good one.